In this tutorial video, we will make this vertical vessel with support legs, including nozzles and lifting plugs. Now we will start a new project. Here we will name our project and select location, select the module type. After that, we will add the first element, which is the boot head. Define the inside diameter, slash flange and safe. After that, we will add shell cores. Select shell type and define the inside diameter, thickness, and length. Let's add another head. And this type we will select same as. Start the assembly. Now we will add a support leg. From here we will select the type, select the size of the equal angle, define the length, location. Add a wheel plate and top cover, click save. Now we will add a drain nozzle, select a nozzle type, define the width of the wheel plate. Now we will add an elbow to this nozzle, define the size, schedule and save. Now we will calculate the projection from seam line. Let's add a pipe. After the elbow, select the size, schedule, define the length. Now let's add a flange. Select the type, rating, size, and schedule. Click Save. Now let's start the assembly. We can figure that the bottom nozzle, which is a drain nozzle, is assembled. After that, you support legs. Now let's add a nozzle. As a man way, define the location, size, name. Let's add a flange to this nozzle. Select the type, size, schedule. Define the projection from visual center line. Let's add another nozzle. This one we will select a long weld neck nozzle, select rating, size, location, define the orientation, the projection from the center line. Click save now, let's add a coupling. Make it with plug and select hexagonal plug. Define the projection as external projection, select size, location, and orientation. Start as simply. Now let's add some attachments to the top head. Let's add a vent nozzle. Select size. Define the offset from the center line. Let's define the projection. Now let's add a stud outlet. Define the offset from the center line. Let's make it at zero. Make it sit in and barrel. Now let's add a lifting lug on the top head. Define the width according to the image on the right hand side. Define those dimensions, add a wheel plate. Define the width and the length. The offset from the center line and orientation. We need two lifting lugs. Now let's change the orientation of the first model. Run the assembly. Now let's create the drawing. Select the size of the drawing. Select required views, define the location and scale, select tables, select welding details required in our model, click save, define the revision table, drawing name and the drawing number. Now let's create the drawing. We can figure that revision table, bill of material, design data table, notes table, nozzle table flange table and client document list and visual document list and the building details. After creating this drawing, we will add some annotations. Be sure that you select parts only during selecting the balloon. Now let's add the inside diameter, the shield course, the lens, straight flanges, 
a projection of the top nozzle, add some center lines. Let's add the tan line, some center lines. Here and there, define the origin point, define the location for nozzles. Add the nozzle tag. Now we have the uh, complete drawing of this equipment, including dimensions and annotations, bill of material, nozzle table, and more.